inches for a margin for error. Now you take that, Todd Sealy has that on his mind, in addition to the fact that he must hit the ramp at between 48 and 50 miles an hour to be successful. Let's watch this jump. He's up over a world record. Todd Sealy sets a world record quad jump. He approaches the ramp. He is up and over. And now in the record books. Todd Seeley comes up to celebrate with his fans. He is a world record holder. And Monster Wars will continue. We started with 10, the semifinals bring us down to four. And what four they are, our matchup now between Gravedigger and Barefoot. Gravedigger is piloted by the 31-year-old Dennis Anderson. Brent Schaefer, pilot of Barefoot, is 14 years Dennis's senior. He's the older and the more experienced of the two. Gravedigger must win in the outside lane. Barefoot is stepping all over everyone, but I'll stop him in his tracks. I shot down UFO and Tatter Taurus, and now I'll butcher Barefoot on the way to the finals. All right, Bob's got it staged up. We're going for one hell of a ride right now. Anderson is ready in Gravedigger. Barefoot is ready. The green light, they go. Barefoot with the Dodge Hemi has more horsepower than Gravedigger. He's going to need it here. Barefoot gets him! Nine hundredths of a second, but he gets him! All right. I don't think we got him, but I'll tell you what, we gave him a hell of a try. The margin of victory was close, very close, less than a tire length. Both drivers, very experienced, both drivers wanted it badly, but the outside lane was cursed, and Barefoot took advantage of that. Fred, congratulations. A big run against Dennis Anderson in the Grave Digger. Boy, Jim, I couldn't tell for sure, but it looked pretty close down there. I know, uh, boy, it seemed like the reaction time between those cars and no sooner it hit the ground, man, and you're, just, you're there. Fred, I'm watching that run. You're going to have to take me through it because over that last set of cars, you got awfully sideways. I thought you were going to lose it at the end. Yeah, uh, I thought that too, Jim. Uh, everything happened so quick. Uh, you got to get back in the throttle real quick. You can't leave any time for Dennis Anderson. A split second makes a difference. I got back in the throttle, hit the cars, got a little off to the side. Truck was flying sideways. I had my hands pulled down to the other end. I thought I was going over, but uh, this truck handles so good that mid-engine, the weight's down low, it drove right out. So Barefoot muscles his way to the finals. We'll find out who his competition will be in a minute, but first, let's go to Lou Ann Lee. A bit of a wild ride for Barefoot. Predator and Taurus are coming up next. You may have noticed that in the world of monster truck racing, we've yet to see any female drivers. But that's not true of other U.S. Hot Rod Association events. In tractor pulling, a few women have broken through the dirt and proven they can be competitive, especially Dusty Arfons. She's the daughter of motorsports legend Art Arfons and the wife of dirt track builder Randy Spragans. But this lady is not defined by the men in her life. She stands alone, 100% Dusty, the fire-breathing dragon lady. I am glad Dusty's in tractor pulling with me. She enjoys it, and uh, she's kept me young. I think that's why I keep going, because she loves it so much. But Dusty was at it, pulling on a, on a track I built, and she does really good. It gives me a little bit of personal satisfaction to see her do better. The fire show is my favorite part. It gives me time to relax before I go down the track. Dragon Lady is an unlimited dragster tractor. It has two turbine engines. They're 3,000 horse apiece. I grew up with pulling, and that, that's just what I wanted to do. So I've been very fortunate, and I, I don't think I could do it without Dad. I cheated with Dusty. Her and I have always been real close, and I was afraid she'd move away to college. So when she graduated, I said, Dusty, you want to go to college, or do you want a tractor? And thank goodness she took the tractor. <laughs> Dad's the crew chief on my tractor. He's the one that diagnoses all the problems and stuff, and he tells me what to do. And I go get tools, and I, I turn what screws need to be turned and stuff. But he's the brains. 
I think it's a lot of fun competing with my dad. I, it, we're more of a team, and whoever can do the best, you know, more power to them. I think my dad's happier when I win than if he had won. When we're polling, it's seven days a week because your Sundays are spent traveling or polling. My home life kind of takes the back seat to polling. You, you know, you have to make a choice and your profession has to come first. We have a pretty tough time uh, balancing our time from work and play. We were both doing what we were doing when we met. So, yeah, it was, there was never anything that we ever had to learn to understand. <laughs> Dusty's always traveled with me ever since she was a baby, and uh, I'm really protective of her. And when Randy took a shine to her, uh, he had to talk to me. <laughs> I know tractor pull in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is where we first, where I first laid eyes on her, I guess. I didn't even see him. Yeah, everybody was afraid to go talk to her. I was uh, got a little bold myself there, and I was told, "Oh, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to know who that is. Stay away from her." Everybody warned him, you know, Art's carrying a pretty good sized gun, you <laughs> better watch it. He made it known that he has a 45 with my pictures in the pistol handle. <laughs> that just made me that much more inquisitive. Randy had a rough road to hoe, you know, he had to check out with everybody in the family. He finally got bold enough just to go out and start talking to him. He's determined. I thought he was kind of good looking, but I thought he'd have girls in every town, and we got to talking, and I found out he was new to the sport, and he hadn't learned about all that, so I snatched him up. In all reality, she's probably my best friend. So I I guess it worked out all right. He's a pretty nice boy. They've gotten along real well. There may not be any female monster truck drivers here today in Lebanon Valley, but the ladies certainly are behind the men in these trucks as Taurus gets set to go against Predator. <laughs> I'm almost in the winner's circle. <laughs> so Taurus... Beware! <laughs> Cause I'll stop you. That's nothing. To be first! <laughs> My friend, Mr. Kitty, you are just plain pussycat whipped! This is just plain super duper! This Wrangler got cat scratch fever, and beating you is the only remedy! Taurus! Try taking. Two shots of reality! And call me in the morning. If needed, <laughs> I'll be back eight more times! <laughs> New design, lightweight. The two monster trucks you're about to see go at it are evenly matched. Taurus is driven by Eldon Depew. The average time, 7.37 seconds on this course. Alan Pizzo's Predator has been averaging a little slower, 7.59, but both very competitive. And Taurus is eyeballing Predator. Predator is eyeballing Taurus. They wait for the green light. It is showtime as one goes to the finals. Off the line, it is Taurus with a bit of an edge. And now Predator finds power! It was sheer power that won that for Predator with six hundredths of a second between the two. Alan Pizzo was a little short on the light. Over the first set, now down firmly. He powers up and across the finish line. It is Predator by a nose. There was no problem at all with Taurus's run. Let's just chuck it up to the curse of the outside lane. Your winner, Predator. to the pits to prepare for the championship round. He'll face barefoot. And this could be the first win of the season for Predator when Monster Wars returns.
barefoot, and he really had a struggle to get here to our finals today. He defeated Invader, Equalizer, and then took out Gravedigger. Predator had no cakewalk either. He had to take out Equalizer, Monster Patrol, and then Taurus. But throw all that out. This is our final. Predator and Barefoot. One's going to go to the winner's circle. It could be Predator's first win of the season. They wait for the green light. Both trucks are staged. Inside, Alan Pizzo appearing very, very calm as he eyeballs Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. The green light and a go! A puff of smoke and a predator. He's in the outside lane, has cursed everybody so far today. But no, not predator! Not predator! He gets the win over Barefoot, and he does it in the outside lane! race predator would have been a hundred to one shot first of all he's underpowered secondly he's in the outside lane and that pump of smoke on the start i thought he blew an engine where he found the horsepower to beat barefoot i don't know but the video tells the tale predator your winner at lebanon valley Pizzo, the biggest upset in monster wars history how do you feel uh, it's definitely the best feeling in the, in the country right now you know I knew I had to cut a good light. I just kept my foot on the floor, and you know everything has been working great tonight. And it just finally got it down pat tonight. You beat Fred Schaefer and Barefoot, 1992 points champion, and you did it in the right lane. Yeah, you know everybody's been winning in the left lane tonight, but I knew somebody sooner or later had to win out of the right lane, and I guess it was my time. And it was you, Alan. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Jim. Predator devoured the competition, and in doing so, also destroyed one of our cameras. Oh well. Alan Pizzo came through with an upset of monster proportion. Now let's take a look at what that did to the point standings. Gravedigger holds on to first place, but his lead over Barefoot has shrunk to only 19 points. The real story is in the battle for third place. Only six points separate the next three trucks, and thanks to his win today, Predator has a great chance at passing Taurus for Equalizer in next week's competition. Here's a look at the remaining trucks and their season totals. The competition is really heating up, and with the possibility of any truck coming away with 50 points, we may see a whole new set of names at the top of the list next week. So be sure and join us then for more pulse-pounding thrills and chills on Monster Wars. For Joe Lowe and Jim Davidson, I'm Luann Lee. Keep on trucking.